been a while so I thought I'd do a little quick walk and talk. Um, there's a video that I'll link down below and it's talking about what's going on in India. And I forgot off the top of my head the name of the program but they've gotten rid of 80% there we go 80% of their currency and they've got this system that you scan they're scanning people's fingers face and eyes like an iris scan and then they give you a card and the video that you watch it's got some good information but the thing is to point out is it's almost like the guy's mocking the pre-time of Jacob's trouble because he says that uh, we as Bible believing Christians say we won't be here when the mark of the beast is out and that's true I don't believe we'll be here um, but they're calling this the mark of the beast and what it is is they give you a card an ID card and uh, it's not the mark of the beast it's technology that'll lead to the mark of the beast but the Bible talks about it being in the hand or in the forehead and another part later on that some people teach that halfway through the or uh, the technology will break down so it'll be on the forehead um, but yeah first of all where's the beast if it's the mark of the beast where's the beast he's not here yet as far as openly uh, making himself known um, but you read through that and it's like they don't know the Bible and they're mocking that but you look at that uh, India is about to be the first I think country that's um, completely cashless and you look at how many people are in India and then China it's on its way China's the next country and you look at both of them it's like almost half the world's population right there and it's just scary as far as how not really scary but to realize that how close we are to the end and I'm sitting there with my wife and we're looking stuff up and she's showing me some stuff because I've been really not been keeping up what's going on in the world and how bad and wicked the world's becoming uh, sodomy is everywhere you say yep sodomy is everywhere um, it's not just uh, you know at, at these rallies and stuff like that. I live in a very small town. Um, let's see, maybe this side. Hey, this side. Uh, I live in a small town, and even here, my wife and I cannot go in town without seeing one minimum uh, sodomite. Uh, transgender, whatever you want to use, but the Bible term is sodomite. And you look on, uh, like all the actors I used to watch way back when, and Nowadays, they're actors and the singers and everything, and everything's just out in the open. And I was shocked because I don't have TV, uh, television, you know, cable, and I don't uh, have movies anymore. I gave them up. I gave up all the secular music that I really wasn't into too much, but I gave that up. And yeah, it's just sodomy is everywhere. Okay? When the Bible talks about Sodom in Egypt, uh, there's so many false gods everywhere. Uh, look at the, um, I think it's the American flag. If you look up the online American flag, um, I'll try to show a picture if I can, uh, where they're turning the stars upside down. Um, there's an elephant that has the three stars. I think it's three. Uh, the stars are upside down. Baphomet. And uh, some rocks fell down over there. It's uh, sprinkling a little bit. It's very foggy today. but And then you look at this stuff and it's like Satanism is right there out in the open. It's like Egypt everywhere. There's so many false gods and antichrist, but just right witchcraft, everything right in your face. And it's like we are in the last days, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are in the last days. And... We desperately need to get the gospel out. We need to get the gospel out so much today. Um, don't get me wrong, it's going to be discouraging sometimes or a lot of times because we're in the last days where people really don't want anything to do with Jesus Christ. They don't want anything to do with God of the King James Bible. They don't want anything to do with true Bible-believing, God-fearing men and women. Um, but we got to get that last soul saved and we really need to be pushing the gospel and if you're watching this and you're lost, you have an eternal soul. 
and you can spend eternity in heaven or you can spend an eternity in hell and you need to come to the cross where Jesus died for your sins you need to come to the cross broken just flat out broken and just admit that you're a sinner I'm slowing down because there's a truck over there but just admit that you're a sinner to the Lord and have sorrow in your heart for sinning against God and believe that Jesus paid for your sins because he did okay he paid for the sins of the world that's what the Bible teaches he paid for the sins of the world okay the punishment I was supposed to face that punishment and yet he paid the price for me you need to confess it both in prayer to show you're not ashamed and that it happened in the heart that's why we tell, teach people to pray um, and then you call upon the name of the Lord and say Lord save me I'm a dirty rotten filthy low down no good sinner on my way to hell and I don't want to go to hell Lord I'm so sorry for sinning against you I am so sorry for sinning against you and yeah it's just you call upon the name of the Lord to prove that you don't deserve to get saved and the gospel has been so messed up today brothers and sisters in Christ we got to get the true gospel out we just have to get it out and um, I was just wanting to do a quick walk and talk to encourage the brethren to lay gospel tracts everywhere um, talk with people a little bit and then hand them a gospel track um, you know just we got to get everything out there the gospel out there and right now the hardest part about preaching the gospel is there's so many false gospels out there see that way or this way okay. there's just so many false gospels give me a second Victoria doing our walk sometimes we come in come across people but uh come come she's a little slow doing good <laughs> but the hard part brothers and sisters in Christ the hard part is the fact that there's so many false gospels out there so many false religions that are calling themselves Christians and they're really making they're really making us Bible believing God fearing men and women that are true Christians they're making us look bad and the world is just so upside down it's just so upside down and I just keep praying Lord I keep praying Lord I don't want to question the Lord but there's a lot of us out there going Lord the Lord is tearing the Lord has great grace and mercy because this world is so worthy of God's wrath and God's judgment and yeah just uh, what was it one of the fashion shows or something I forget what it's called but it's like where the the singers and they were all going to it and you look at a lot of their dresses and stuff they had the moon or the the sun thing that they wear over their head and it's like the sun god they had catholic crosses on them they had it looked like just a catholic fest and it's just it's really shocking out there and my prayers go out to all the brothers and sisters in Christ that have children and they're being raised in this world that's why I always started pushing hardcore to homeschool your kids keep them out of the public schools you know raise them in the admonition of the Lord as the Bible commands this world is so wicked it is so very wicked the only place that you can have that's uh, that's safe to a point is your home that's why I've always been pushing brothers and sisters in Christ to make sure that your home is a godly home sanctification uh, when it comes to your home it's the only place you can go to every time I go into town with my wife it's vexing the things that we see um, sodomies everywhere false gods and satanic symbols are everywhere and it gets to the point where we go into town we get what we want 
probably walk on the beach a little bit and then we get home. We don't hang out in town, you know, what they call window shopping and stuff. We don't do that. We get what we need and we get out of those places. And to the brothers and sisters in Christ out there also feeling a little lonely sometimes. Um, those who are single and you feel down sometimes. Just stay in the Word of God. Stay in prayer. Like I said, go for walks and talk with the Lord. But I understand, and I know a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ out there understand that we are in the last days. Nobody wants to hear the gospel hardly at all, but that doesn't justify us not preaching the gospel and handing out gospel tracts everywhere we go, dropping gospel tracts everywhere we go. I mean, there's some people that will say, Jesus, come back soon. Jesus, come today. Jesus, come today. And then you talk to them and they're like, do you hand out gospel tracts? Well, no, I don't really have... Do you lay gospel tracts everywhere? Well, not really. Do you do videos on the gospel? I'm not saying you have to do all this stuff, but, you know, even those who don't have courage can easily leave gospel tracts places. But you hit these people up and they're like, we want Jesus to come back today. We want Jesus to come back today. And you're like, well, are you getting the gospel out there? Well, no. Then you don't want Jesus to come back today. We got to get that last soul saved. Jesus is coming back, I believe, very soon. I believe he's coming back in my lifetime because in the last hundred years, I know uh, Peter Ruckman thought he was going to come back in his lifetime because he saw how fast the world was deteriorating and how fast we are seeing it today. It's just in five to ten years, the last five or ten years, things have just, it's like they moved 50 times faster and the uh, you know things getting wicked and everything it's like and it's just getting worse and worse and worse out there it's like i do believe jesus is coming back in our lifetime i do believe that every a lot of people's hearts today the world's heart is hardened to the gospel but that still doesn't justify us not getting the gospel out there you need to be getting those um gospel tracks out uh, if you don't have that much courage, like I didn't at first, lay the Gospels tracks places. You can leave them in bathrooms. You can, like when you're going through stores, you can leave them in magazines and stuff. Um, you can lay in places, gas stations and stuff. Um, just get those Gospel tracks out there. And then over time, God will give you the courage to actually hand them out. And all you, I mean, just to hand them out, just say, hey... I'm a Bible-believing, God-fearing Christian man or woman. Can I give you this gospel track? It can save your life. And they'll take it or they won't take it. You're not having to do a hardcore conversation. But over time, God will give you the courage to actually walk up and talk to them before, they, before you hand them a gospel track. You know? Let them know it's not just you throwing that in their face saying you're holier than thou, which... You know, it's just you talk with them and you hand them a gospel tract and you let them know about Jesus. You let them know about hell. I mean, it's important to let them know about hell. And uh, God will give you the courage. We got to get the gospel out there. So, yeah, the, I'll link the videos down below about, uh, I think it's called DARPA. Sort of the D, um, the program that's going on in India, and the thing that I think that's really hurting everybody when it comes to the pre-time of Jacob's trouble is they're trying to say that this is the mark of the beast, and it's not. It's technology for the mark of the beast, but it's not the mark of the beast. It's not in the hand or in the forehead, and the beast isn't here. It's the mark of the beast because you have to worship the beast. It's, they go hand in hand. But they're using it to mock true Christians. And you'll see this throughout the whole world. They're using, it's going hardcore about what, it, what's going on in India. That is the mark of the beast. And when you look at it, like I said before, they're just giving people cards, like ID cards. And they've got their fingers scanned into a system. They've got their face and their eyes scanned. And all that, the UN is in, synced in on that. 
So, basically, we're really close to a one world currency, which is electronic. Um, we're just on the verge, like that. And um, in India, like I said, you watched the video in India. Uh, basically, if you don't sign up for this program, you get nothing from the sit uh, from the government. It's like here we have welfare, we've got food stamps, uh, unemployment, and they're just imagine here in America it happening, and they're like, in order for you to get those things, you gotta sign up. You know, take this chip. You know what they're going, what's going on in India, and there's people starving in India, and to, in America it's like them. What it means by taking eighty percent of the currency, it's like them getting rid of all big bills except for one dollar bills and quarters. So all you have is one dollar bills and quarters. In order to buy something expensive, you got to use their system, because that's what's going on in India. Um, it's just, it could come here in a heartbeat, and it can, it can come everywhere in a heartbeat. So we are in the last days, uh, sorry about the, like I'm rambling a little bit, I think our number one job right now, I mean we're all called into the ministry of reconciliation, that's how we're ambassadors for Jesus Christ, but I've been doing a lot of videos on encouraging the brethren when it comes to prayer testimonies to help the brethren when it comes to sanctification uh, to encourage them that they're not the only ones going through things and they're not the only ones that are vexed by this world they're not the that you guys aren't the only ones that have sorrow um, but I think right now after last night getting shown a lot of stuff by my wife and by the Lord what's going on in the world and it's like our number one thing we got to get the gospel out there we have to get the gospel out there, and I know it's going to be hard. I know it is. Um, but just, you know, keep trying, brothers and sisters in Christ. Just keep trying. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up giving out the gospel, handing gospel tracts out. I think that's our number one thing in these last days. Get the gospel out. Get the gospel out. Get that last person saved that needs to get saved. And when God says, enough's enough, and he's going to call us home. And that day is going to be an amazing day for us, brothers and sisters in Christ. And that's why, if the lost person comes across this video, that's why it's so important for you to get saved. For you to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Realize that, you know, that there is a hell, whether you want to believe it or not, and there's a heaven, whether you want to believe it or not. And you're going to end up going to one or the other. There is no in-between just we implore so many of us brothers and sisters in Christ family members that are saved we implore the lost family members you need to get saved our children you need to get saved grandparents um, friends neighbors they need to get saved and we need to be more retroactive on that so sorry for this long walk and talk things that have been on my heart realizing how wicked this world I knew it was wicked but, you know, kind of being in a small town, getting rid of the movies, TV shows, uh, not having cable, not really watching the news, and um, just focusing on reading the Bible, because I really got to read it all the time, or with my seizure disorder and my memory, I'll start forgetting things, and I don't want to forget things. So I spend a lot of time in the Word and prayer, and uh, doing uh, little studies that God allows me to do for you, brothers and sisters in Christ. So, um, this world is so wicked. We're in the last days. So, thank you for listening to the Walk and Talk. Um, if you got anything you want to say, put it in the comics. Uh, comics. Comments about, you know, uh, everything I've been talking about. The sodomite, out of control, hardcore in America. Just out of control, out in the open. Um, the witchcraft and paganism, false gods, everywhere you look upside down stars on the American flag um, that was kind of new to me I didn't realize that because I it's just all this wickedness everywhere false gospels everywhere false religions calling themselves Christians and our names are being out there saying that they're the same as us and it makes it so hard for us so let's encourage the brethren to preach the gospel stay in prayer and uh, just 
know that we have that blessed hope. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. See you in the next video.